Honda. Mike is Mike Hedges filming with my camera. The Honda is put together. There she is. The Hobbit. I would oh, uh, I yeah. would think that there are some maybe new parts in here somewhere. Uh, there's lots of new parts. This is mm -hmm. new parts. This is new parts. This is new parts. The pedals are new. new. Gas lines new. The inside parts are new. There is plenty of new parts on here. Yes. So I've ridden this several times, but this is gonna be my first time with the correct jets in the carburetor, and I hope it runs right. I've got the key, and Riley's at the window over there wanting to watch so let's rock out this thing fires up pretty easily I'm impressed actually power is on alright get a full shot ready yeah I let her sit. I didn't choke it at all. Dude, that thing is wow. freaking fast. Wow. So, wow. Crazy. That's awesome. Come on, I'm going to uh, I'm going to ride it again. We'll start this thing going down the hill. It should start up. Oh. Oh. Uh, I didn't even turn the fuel on. That was what was just in the reserve. That's why it quit. Look, fuel's on off. So I ran up and down the road with just what was in the gas line and in the bowl. Huh. Sweet. Yes. So, I don't know what we caught or what we didn't, but I forgot to turn the gas on. So, it only ran up and down three, two times, I guess, and it was done, which was good. So I turned the gas on. That yep. is on and reserve is there's a stick inside here that sticks up about go, yeah the, the, there you go goes about this far up so when you put it on on it pulls stuff out of the top of the tube and when you put it in reserve it pulls everything out of the bottom of the tank so that allows you to get like maybe two or three miles down the road or whatever it is I don't know yet so that's a way of keeping yourself from running out of gas now let's see if it runs now that it's got the right fuel all the fuel gears look like and everything here. So if you can get a good shot of that side actually, yeah. you'll see that this moves in and this moves out. So get it at a table this way. There you go. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Hold on. Killed it. Get me to work, so I can wear your clothes. 
in this whole throttle, so I don't know what whole throttle is going to be like. That was fast. I need a helmet. Look at the kiddos. They're watching the window. What? Fast? Yes. Really, really fast. Because it works. You want, you want to see it again? You want to see it again? <laughs> they can't hear me. The windows are closed. <laughs> <sighs> okay. And then when I run out of gas, ah! wow, so it is sort of a bicycle, but it is a bicycle, it's a moped, Honda Hobbit to be exact, 1973. <laughs> It's two years older than me, <laughs> and it rocks. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is Crazy. awesome. So now I got to put the rest of the covers on, and then I'll do some break in because I got to break in the cylinder. And then once it's broken, I can tune it a little better and find out if the balance of fuel and oxygen is correct. So it starts off kind of slow, but that that the. the just accelerates like a bat out of you know what up this hill so my ride to work is all uphill for the most part yeah so one option I'm going to do is this lever back here which turns the which turns the pedal option which we've seen from the motor option into the pedal option what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach something to this with a rod that comes up and I'm going to attach something back here so when I'm riding I can reach back like this and pull that knob up and it will be in bicycle mode which allows it to freewheel. Hmm. So I can get it going like 40 mile an hour downhill, pull the lever and now I can just cruise down the hill with no gas whatsoever with no reduction of the motor spinning because I'm afraid I'm going to overspeed the motor. So that's my last modification and other than that, uh, gonna use, I'm going to use my phone as a GPS unit and it'll tell me the speed I'm going so I'm going to actually make a bracket that fits in the old hole and I'm going to mount this thing right here on here and this is going to be my speedometer so I gotta thank a subscriber for that because I don't remember your name but you were like hey dude you're an idiot don't buy parts you have a cell phone it's got GPS on it so thank you very much for that idea that's why I share information it's because sometimes you already got something you have that you don't need. And what's the MPG? I don't know yet. That will to be determined. How, how big is the tank? Uh, it is not quite a gallon. Jeez. But it's supposed to get originally plus 50 mile a gallon. So now that I've upped the jet, it's going to use a slight a bit more fuel, but so it's going the, to also go more. Fuel so tank. This is it, yeah. And it's hollow kind of in the middle where this beam is at. So I'm actually, I'm actually going to be able to get probably the equivalent gas mileage if I'm using more fuel, but I'm driving faster. And since it's half downhill, I get free gas mileage. All right, the maiden voyage from the hospital. One last thing I did, which I told you guys I was going to do, 
was add an extension on here to bend this over so that my uh, uh, kickstand didn't hit it. So I just added this pipe. I just bent it, heated it up with a torch and bent it. And uh, yeah, the only thing I can think of is if the... Nope, looks like it's not leaking. I redid the exhaust because I think it was leaking, but it's still very, very loud. Earplugs, Mike. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta have. Uh, <laughs> it's well, pretty. I think if you have a helmet, it's not too bad. I'm worried about other people. Yeah. Maybe I need three more mufflers. The sound, the sound's not that bad. It's not that bad. We'll You're see. Standing what, next to it. We'll see what my wife says. <laughs>